Welcome to Stoicism 2.0. The contemporary nature of life has presented us with an intriguing paradox. While we are more connected than ever, there's a prevailing sense of loneliness. Despite being surrounded by commitments and tasks, there's a common experience of feeling overlooked or undervalued by those we consider significant in our lives. In the current global context, everyone desires to feel important within their close circles, yet frequently encounters a sense of neglect, as if their importance is not reciprocated. Enter Stoicism and Philosophy. These philosophies advocate for finding intrinsic value within ourselves, rather than relying on constant recognition from others. The question then arises, how can we integrate these teachings into our daily lives to establish a sense of priority with those around us? In this video, we will delve into effective strategies aligned with Stoicism and philosophy. The aim is not to employ manipulative tricks, but to adopt a wiser and more authentic approach to cultivate genuine and high-value relationships. It's crucial to recognize that the people in our immediate surroundings play a defining role in shaping who we are. As the famous saying goes, show me who your friends are, and I'll tell you who you are. If you find yourself not being a priority to them, it's likely that these individuals lack genuine and authentic interest in you. In this ancient philosophy, we discover principles that guide us in striking a balance between our needs and our relationships. The essence lies in being valuable without appearing needy. The initial step toward gaining priority in others' lives involves creating a fear of loss. When you're always available and respond immediately, people tend to assume you'll be there at any time. However, in today's fast-paced world where time is a precious resource, Stoicism emphasizes giving due value to it. It's essential to let people miss you and feel your absence occasionally. Stoics remind us that while we can't control external events, we can control our responses. By valuing your time and attention, you convey self-respect, and others will begin to perceive you as a valuable person who chooses to share their precious time. Practice saying no or not responding immediately to requests. Cultivating the art of patience. Allowing others to appreciate the value of your time is crucial. Patience, a virtue extolled by Stoicism, becomes paramount in earning priority in others' lives. In a world full of distractions and haste, the ability to wait calmly sets you apart as a valuable person. Patience doesn't imply passivity, but maintaining control over emotions and reactions. It's like being a lighthouse in the midst of a storm. Others may grow impatient, but you maintain serenity, earning appreciation for your presence and control. Remember, priority starts with yourself. Avoid seeking constant approval and attention from others. Own your time and attention, and people will begin to value you more. For instance, in a professional context, consider a colleague consistently swamped with work who gracefully declines non-urgent requests. Instead, they respond thoughtfully after taking time to consider the best course of action. Such intentional time management and patient decision-making would likely earn the respect and appreciation of peers, establishing this individual as a valued and sought-after team member. Let's delve into the second crucial aspect of our journey towards being more valued and significant in the eyes of others. Resisting the tendency to make others the center of your life. In today's society, it's easy to fall into the trap of elevating others to a pedestal, inadvertently losing our own sense of direction. The key is to refrain from constantly revolving around others and to resist the urge to make them the focal point of your life. By valuing your time and attention, you inherently become more valuable to others. In an era where social media and external validation can lead us away from authenticity, Stoicism encourages making oneself the center of their own universe. This philosophy places personal passions and goals at the forefront. The wise words of the Stoic Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius echo this sentiment. No one can harm you without your consent. This powerful reminder underscores our role as guardians of our inner peace and emotional well-being. In a world filled with external opinions and judgments, Stoicism teaches the art of selective indifference. It guides us in discerning what truly deserves our attention and time. We shouldn't let others' opinions define our self-worth, nor should we become prisoners of external circumstances. 
Applying this principle empowers us to face constructive criticism with humility, all disregarding unfounded critiques that don't contribute to our personal growth. Liberating ourselves from the need for constant approval allows us to take control of our narrative. No one can harm you without your consent serves as a call to self-reflection, encouraging us to embrace authenticity without fear of external judgment. Internalizing this stoic principle makes us masters of our own destiny, flourishing in self-esteem and self-respect. This self-empowerment, in turn, makes us more valuable and significant to others. Consider a scenario where an individual faces criticism for pursuing a non-traditional career path aligned with their passion. Applying the stoic principle, they discern between constructive feedback that aids their growth and baseless criticism rooted in societal norms. By remaining steadfast in their authenticity and not letting external opinions dictate their choices, this person builds resilience and attracts those who appreciate them for their genuine self. The result is a network of relationships based on mutual respect, where they are valued for being true to themselves. The third crucial aspect. In our journey towards becoming more significant and a priority for others revolves around prioritizing your own needs. This is a fundamental key to garner greater value from those around you. Often, individuals find themselves sacrificing personal needs for the sake of others, leading to potential exploitation and a lack of respect for their well-being. In today's society, there's a prevailing notion that we should always be available to everyone. However, this mindset is not only unsustainable, but can also result in others perceiving you as an infinite resource, depleting your attention and valuable time. Stoic philosophy, embodied in the wisdom of thinkers like Epictetus, imparts the essential lesson of taking ownership of our lives and well-being. This involves setting healthy boundaries and prioritizing personal needs before attending to the needs of others. Epictetus's profound assertion First, say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do, encapsulates a foundational principle of Stoicism. This principle emphasizes the significance of self-affirmation and self-knowledge before embarking on any life action. Stoicism advocates for an act of self-affirmation, recognizing and fulfilling our needs, desires, and personal values before we can truly contribute value to others. From this perspective, Cultivating virtues such as authenticity, resilience, self-discipline, and empathy becomes paramount in becoming truly valuable to others. Before seeking external approval, Stoicism teaches us to seek approval from ourselves, creating a secure foundation of self-knowledge and self-acceptance. This approach doesn't entail egocentrism or insensitivity to others' needs, but rather involves building a solid foundation of self-awareness. When secure in our identity and goals, we project a confidence that naturally draws people toward us. Stoicism guides us to define our values, goals, and virtues through introspection and self-evaluation, establishing an internal compass that guides our actions and decisions. Epictetus's phrase further underscores the importance of consistent action. Mere self-affirmation is insufficient. Our words must align with our actions. Acting in accordance with our authentic identity reinforces our value, attracting those who appreciate consistency and integrity. The fourth aspect in our pursuit of becoming more significant and a priority for others is to permit them to invest in you. This isn't about fostering an inflated ego, but rather providing others with the opportunity to feel valued through their contributions to your life. Seneca, an ancient Stoic, wisely noted that individuals take delight in being chosen for what enriches them. When you allow others to offer assistance, guidance, or even a kind word, you empower them to enrich their own lives. By embracing their willingness to invest in your well-being, you let others feel appreciated and essential. Returning to the heart of Stoicism, let's delve into the concept of independence, as Epictetus teaches us. Another revered Stoic imparted, it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. In Stoicism, independence doesn't entail complete isolation from others. Rather, it emphasizes autonomy and self-governance. It's the ability to make conscious decisions without overly relying on external approval or influence. 
practicing independence positions you as the guardian of your ethics and values, earning respect for your integrity. It allows you to foster genuine relationships, avoiding the role of a follower and instead becoming a companion who contributes positively to the well-being of others. Independence and Stoicism involves self-discipline, self-awareness, and self-control, making you appealing to those who value strong and integral individuals. To be more valued by others, cultivate independence. It's not about shutting yourself off from the world, but about steering the course of your own destiny and guiding others by your example. This approach nurtures stronger connections, rendering you more valuable in the lives of those around you. Generosity and openness to others' contributions further enhance your attractiveness and garner respect. Remember, the true richness of life lies in meaningful relationships and connections. By allowing others to invest in you, you initiate a virtuous cycle of mutual value. For instance, consider a colleague who, despite being skilled in a particular area, acknowledges the expertise of others in the team by seeking their advice and appreciating their contributions. This individual not only cultivates a collaborative and supportive work environment, but also becomes highly valued by colleagues who feel acknowledged and empowered. Continuing our exploration of strategies to become more significant and a priority in the lives of others. The fifth key aspect, embracing an air of mystery. It's a common inclination to share every detail about ourselves immediately, our emotions, thoughts, and deepest desires. However, this tendency towards overexposure can diminish our perceived importance to others. People often prioritize what is elusive or beyond their complete understanding. Instead of divulging all aspects of your life right away, consider maintaining a sense of mystery, sparking curiosity, and a desire to know you better. Stoicism, with its emphasis on self-discipline and self-control, underscores the importance of measured self-revelation. Maintaining a degree of mystery doesn't entail concealing your true self, but rather gradually unveiling your essence, especially when prompted. When faced with questions, respond with a touch of vagueness. Refrain from delving too deeply into your past and avoid disclosing every secret or significant detail. This intentional approach keeps others engaged and focused on discovering more about you. Seneca's famous aphorism, Fortune favors the bold, takes on a nuanced meaning here. Boldness involves being mindful of what and when you share with others, leaving room for mystery. Not only does maintaining intrigue foster curiosity, but it also draws people naturally to you. Stoicism encourages us to concentrate on what lies within our control, and the decision of how much to reveal about oneself falls squarely within that realm. It's not about hiding your true identity, but rather judiciously dosing the disclosure of personal details. Remember that constant approval from others is not a necessity. By preserving an element of mystery, you'll discover how people value you for who you truly are beyond just what you choose to reveal. For instance, consider a colleague who, despite being friendly and approachable, strategically refrains from disclosing every detail of their personal life. This colleague navigates conversations with a balance of openness and discretion, leaving their co-workers intrigued. As a result, their colleagues become more eager to engage in meaningful conversations and discover more about their mysterious yet authentic persona, elevating their significance within the professional sphere. The sixth pivotal aspect of earning the esteem of others is steering clear of perpetual availability. When one habitually acquiesces to every demand with an automatic yes, the intrinsic value of their time diminishes, leaving their availability taken for granted. Stoic philosophy, epitomized by figures like Seneca, underscores the imperative of owning our time and making judicious decisions about its allocation. Cultivating the ability to respectfully decline others' requests is not indicative of selfishness. Rather, it reflects an individual who prioritizes their own needs and commitments before extending themselves to others. In the realm of avoiding constant availability, the wisdom of Epictetus resonates profoundly. No man is free who is not master of himself. This sage insight underscores that genuine freedom emanates from self-discipline and mastery over one's choices. 
Stoicism champions a life aligned with our principles and values. By resisting the temptation to always be available, you communicate that your time and energy possess intrinsic value, engendering a deeper level of respect. Consequently, others are more inclined to accord you priority. For instance, consider a friend who, despite being known for their helpful nature, learns to discern when to say no to additional commitments. This friend prioritizes their personal well-being and existing responsibilities. In doing so, they not only preserve their own mental and emotional health, but also garner admiration and respect from those around them. Others begin to recognize the importance of their time and value their contributions more deeply, ultimately leading to increased priority in various aspects of their life. The final piece of advice in this discourse may initially surprise you. Cease initiating conversations. In a world dominated by incessant communication, this counsel finds its roots in Stoic wisdom. Thinkers like Epictetus emphasized the importance of listening over speaking, reminding us that we possess two ears and one mouth for a reason. To listen twice as much as we talk. Allowing others to take the lead in initiating conversations grants you the opportunity to learn more about them, and perhaps surprisingly, about yourself. A constant readiness to talk may inadvertently convey eagerness or self-centeredness, qualities that often repel rather than attract. Patience and a genuine willingness to listen are qualities highly valued in social interactions. Given our inherent appreciation for good communication and the feeling of being heard, Stoicism also imparts the lesson of controlling the desire for external approval. There's no need to incessantly prove your worth through words. Instead, let your character and actions speak for themselves. Allowing others to initiate conversations signals that you value their thoughts and opinions, contributing to the cultivation of stronger relationships. It's a poignant reminder that people tend to remember how you made them feel, not just what you said. In a world where the struggle to stand out is prevalent, being someone who listens attentively and values others becomes a distinctive and appreciated trait. To be more valued by others, contemplate relinquishing the constant initiation of conversations. Consider an acquaintance who, during group discussions, refrains from dominating the conversation by allowing others to share their thoughts and take the conversational lead. This individual fosters an environment where diverse perspectives are heard and respected. In doing so, they become known for their considerate and attentive demeanor, making them more appreciated and respected within their social circles. In conclusion, the guidance imparted in this video serves as just the initial step on your journey towards garnering more value from others. Stoicism, with its timeless wisdom, offers a robust framework for fostering authentic and meaningful relationships. By incorporating these tips into your daily life, you'll witness a transformative impact on your relationships and overall well-being. The application of Stoic principles, encompassing strategies like creating a fear of loss, practicing patience, maintaining a bit of mystery, and allowing others to invest in you, aligns seamlessly with the cultivation of genuine high-value connections. The essence lies in being valuable without becoming overly dependent. If you found these insights valuable, I encourage you to take action by liking this video, leaving a comment with your thoughts or experiences, and subscribing to our YouTube channel for more enriching content on personal development and stoic wisdom. Your engagement and support contribute to a community that values growth and authenticity. Thank you for being a part of this journey towards a more meaningful and valued life.